Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video, I want to talk about the cells of the alveoli in a little bit more detail. Uh, the last video, we talked about the alveoli of the lungs. We talked about how gas exchange occurs, and we just briefly touched on a few of the cells. In this video, I want to just focus on these cells in a bit more detail. Um, uh, if you remember from the last video, we talked about the type 1, type 2 and um, yeah type 1 pneumocyte type 2 pneumocyte and we also mentioned the alveolar macrophages as well now uh, I've included the same picture that we used in the last video because I think it's uh, pretty good in helping you orientate yourself to the actual structure of the alveoli and I've added this extra picture which you can see here which shows the the alveoli in a different view so um, yeah let's talk about um, these cells now so this is the actual air space which is um, gonna fill with air so that the oxygen can move into the capillaries here now let's talk about the type 1 pneumocyte first so it's also known as a squamous alveolar cell um, I, I personally use type 1 pneumocyte anytime I'm talking about it because I think it's a lot more simple now it makes up majority of the alveoli this big structure which you can see here um, which is making up these alveolar sacs is basically the type 1 pneumocyte so as you can see it's uh, labeled here and it goes um, obviously there's uh, a number of them but it's going here 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 basically the main structure I think it's about 95% of the alveoli which is made up of type 1 pneumocytes and obviously gas exchange is going to occur through the type 1 alveolar cells type 1 pneumocytes because it's going to pass through and enter the capillaries which you can see here now the type 2 pneumocyte is a little bit different it's also known as a great alveolar cell now this type 2 alveolar cell is what secretes pulmonary surfactant now pulmonary surfactant lines the alveoli here and this is important to prevent the lungs from sort of collapsing when you're inhaling so uh, if you can imagine, like if you have a Ziploc bag uh, and that's going to be contracting and relaxing or if you're like opening and closing it, at one point it's going to sort of stick together but what the pulmonary surfactant does is it prevents it from sticking together so it's a very efficient process of breathing in and breathing out so that the alveoli can open and close uh, accordingly. So imagine you've lined that Ziploc bag with some sort of like oil or lubrication it's going to open and close a lot more easily that's how the pulmonary surfactant works now it secretes it all the way along here and another role of the type 2 pneumocyte is to like resorb sodium ions and water as well so it prevents sort of a fluid build up in this region and it also helps to repair uh, the alveolus if there's any form of injury and we also talked about the alveolar macrophages in the last video as well they're also known as dust, dust cells and they're responsible for the cleanup of the alveoli and that's pretty simple to um, to grasp because if there's any form of debris in the lungs you're obviously going to be inhaling a lot um, the air which you inhale isn't always going to be clean there could be dust particles there could be foreign bodies so um, the alveoli is uh, the alveolar macrophages or dust cells are responsible for taking up any form of um, dust or foreign bodies and I think that's everything I'm going to talk about in this video I hope you found this video useful but thank you very much for watching